All right, we are. And I might be just a little bit loud. Let's turn me down just a little bit. There we go. <sighs> Say hi, fucker, so I know Discord's working. Hi. Holy crap, I was right. You are loud tonight. Why in the hell? Let's turn you down just a little bit as well. I think we're both a little loud today. Okay. So, we have a change log, and then I've got shit to get done. Actually, we should probably start with the first thing we need to get done, which is he figured out what the issue was with this. It was the fact that I'm using an old uh, energy thing that energy hatch that had a messed up cover thing on it. He took care of that. So we need to get the uh, fluid into it. The helium. Which for right now I'm actually going to use a drum to do it. I don't usually like doing this, but I want to get to change log. So I'm just going to go grab a tank of helium and Shove it in there real quick. And then we can get to the actual testing. And the buels can get done while we're doing so. Okay, this thing's not full. Why are you... Why are you not emptying? Let me guess. Oxygen's not... Shit. Hi. Hey, we have creepers down here, by the way. Uh, um, I need some cobble. This hole needs to get closed up. I'll deal with that later. I have dirt, but I don't want to put dirt in there. Although we do have gra grass growing down there somehow. Oh, I don't want to get all the way up there. Damn it. I have a pipe on me. I have a pipe on me. Screw you. I'm not climbing to the top. I'm putting it in through the bottom whether you like it or not. Come on. Slowly but surely get your ass in there. Thank you. Aha. By the way, helium flows up, if you know that. I do what now? This part of the helium flows up, if you didn't know that. Yes, helium goes up. Oxygen apparently goes down. Why is it down to zero, I think, so... Okay, that's no, that's helium, so I can just grab that right out of there. And I should see if I can find the damn thing. Uh, that's the energy hatch, that's the fluid input hatch right there. I should be able to do that. Which can and just stick it all in there. All right, so now take my ass upstairs and get some silicone. Uh, here we go. 
a stack of that. We we'll only need 16 for a Buell, but if the power can handle it, which I'm hey, not sure. Kind of the AA system is still going upstairs. You know what? I don't want to hear your shit about that AE system. I'm not used to having an AE system when doing Greg Techie type things. I don't like AE too. Don't get me wrong, I actually do like it. Sort of. I don't like how abused it is. That's what I don't like. For the way we're using it, I like it. For people like whoever it was in Greg's Discord that said playing GT5 without A2 is being a masochist, that's why I don't like it. Because GT5 has all kinds of different pipes. The only part of GT5 where I could say maybe you have a leg to stand on is the fact that it doesn't have any way of auto crafting things. And so you may have that opinion because you have to manually craft things. So I can sort of see it for that reason. But that's only really if you have to auto craft things. If you're that type of player that you have to have auto crafting, you're seriously that lazy uh, that crafting is not something you can personally do. Uh, auto crafting would be nice. Shut up, Dan. You're a wimp. Nobody asked for your opinion. I um, like that auto crafting to GTI. So, did you like the idea I came up with? I like oh, the idea I came up with. Problem, the whole scanning thing. It's What's wrong with it? Difficult. It's just, I'm not sure how to call that. That's all it does. Well, it's how did they do it for the... How did they do it in GT5? Don't it's you like have that in here? Um, oh, it's a hard-coded recipe. Hard -coded recipe. Yeah, they hard-coded one for every one. Probably of those so items? Uh, well, I'm saying the problem is that let's just say it's like, I don't say it's saying like normal bricks. How are you supposed to bring up a recipe to put it to the scanner because there's multiple recipes there. No, you put the item in. If I wanted you to auto-craft me this bucket, I would put the bucket right there and I'd put the USB thing in down here, and then it would scan my bucket, give me my bucket back, and then this, the USB would have the recipe for how to craft bucket, which would be, you know, the NEI thing of three plates and a fucking hammer. The problem is which is multiple ways to make a bucket. Not in any I not in a crafting table you don't. You have quite multiple recipes, you know. It's like you have one recipe in a crafting table. Three plates and a bucket. That's it. Now, granted, you have well, there should be a bending recipe where you can put three plates in the bending machine and it makes it into a bucket. That is a thing it should have. We don't. And 
You can uncraft a bucket of milk into a bucket. Because you can't just drink the shit. Ah, fucking Twilight. <laughs> I hate that table. And, yeah, you have all them, but them don't count. It would just be that recipe. And if it's a recipe that there's, you know, too many different ways of doing it, fuck them, they don't get it. I still think it's a good idea. Stand by this. Ah, fuck the boost is here. Now I gotta read. Hold on. Aha! It's running. And it's going to take forever. 450 seconds of kissing my ass. Oh, you gotta love making silicon buels. Doesn't matter what GT it is. GT5 view, Greg Tech 6, and GTI is gonna suck. Okay, something different than A2. Well, my idea, Dan, is scan a thing, get a card, stick card in machine. Machine would be multi block, nine things long. Basically the assembly line, but a lower version. And then each one of the different compartments you put in one of nine said things. And at the end, it pops out the thing you want. That's my idea. And I think it's a glorious idea if he can work it out. Also gives you another reason to make fuck tons of steel. We all know ME interface hatches and buses are what we need. No, no, we fucking don't. Uh, I know I will put in auto crafting, but I haven't figured. Dude, you haven't gotten out of the Stone Age yet, motherfucker. You need to get out of the Stone Age. Worry about Stone Age, then you can worry about auto crafting. Uh, there can be conflicts if there are more than one recipe available. For the same item. Yeah, yeah that, that's coding problem. That's his job, not mine. My job is to come up with the great and glorious ideas. His job is to figure out how to make them a thing. <sighs> I love my job. I don't know. Figure out for shape recipes is going to be a little bit of a pain, but. We're not going to mention that his job is also to tell me that my great and glorious ideas are complete horse shit and I need to go fuck myself. We're going to leave that part out. That's also part of his job. Also, Dan was asking about you know, the Emmy hatches and not doing that. I don't care to bother looking at it. I don't blame you. Just, I wouldn't either. That's just like huge sink, I'm sink. Hmm. That's oh, but our ideas it. with Steam Age isn't a huge time sink. <laughs> but a better time sink, I will agree with you. I'm trying to get him to change Steam Age a little bit so it's a little less crap. I said his job was to tell me that my idea was crap. I did not say it was your job to tell me my idea was crap. Okay, so let's actually get to change log. So made fiber reinforced epoxy, only a fucking plate, because it should be. We talked about this last time, so we don't really have to go over it. You make it the way you make it. And if you make it and you don't need it, well, you're fucked because you done reinforced the epoxy. And it doesn't have any reason to exist other than in a plate. So go fuck yourself. Now you got just do the bathing thing. That's it. And it has, well, currently it has no use. He'll get to that. Um, the fiber reinforced circuit board. Wait a minute. Shouldn't this be hidden? 
All three of these, shouldn't they be hidden? Because the only one we're going to use is the epoxy yeah, and basic. Probably still some stuff that needs to be hidden right now. Yeah, this is the only one we're going to be using, which is for the circuit things, and that's apparently not done. I thought it was done. Did you do that circuit change? Am I confused? Um, oh, I'm confused, but okay. Never mind. So we still have all this epoxy crap. Even though we don't need 90% of this epoxy crap. But what you actually need is the epoxy circuit board, not the epoxy resin sheet. You have that in case you want to make a fucking blunder. Okay. Got it. I keep forgetting how to make that damn recipe. It's been a while since I made it. Um, change Teflon pipes to PVC pipes. Still need to fix the Teflon pipe casing recipe. So we go to pipes. And we have polyvinyl chloride pipes now. Instead of Teflon pipes. Because Teflon is a coating. I don't know why you would make an entire pipe out of it. So, I agree with this change. Uh, makes perfect sense to me. And they're a little bit better than the regular ones. Teflon is not a coating, it's plastic. It's a fucking coating! Teflon is what they coat pans in! To make them non-stick. And yes, it's a plastic, but I don't know anything that's made out of Teflon. Pipe-wise. Pipes are made out of PVC. Not Teflon. PTFE pipe casing takes Teflon sheets. I don't know where you need to fix it, to be honest. It's got PVC pipes running through it, but it as a whole is PTFE. Depending on the temperature you have to work with. Um, I don't care what temperature you're having to work with. If it's fucking plastic, you don't put hot shit through it. Simple. Don't be stupid. PVC actually has a slightly lower temperature than polyethylene pipes. I think. Hold on. Mm. Okay, so his argument is that Teflon's melting point is 620 Fahrenheit or 327 Celsius. So it has a way higher melting point than regular plastics. But I still don't see why you would need 
a plastic pipe that can handle that high of a temperature. Especially for the chemical reactor. The chemical reactor, the issue would be if it can handle acids and stuff more than temperature. In some chemical applications you need it for some reactions that need higher temperature and is not reactive at all. For any chemical reactions that we actually have in Greg Tech? Point me to a specific chemical reaction that requires a Teflon pipe that a stainless steel pipe would not be okay for. Because actually, now that I think about it, it's chemical reactor. Those should be stainless steel pipes. Because that handles acid. Not the PVC. Also, because it needs max temperatures. 333 instead of When you work with fluorine mainly, that's what stainless steel is for. I still don't see where you need Teflon pipes specifically. If we can make, if we can do anything in this one that has no Teflon whatsoever, doesn't even have fucking stainless steel. If you can make it in this thing that's just glass and a tin rotor and metal, I don't see where you need Teflon for the large one. I completely disagree. At least Greg and GT6 made the mixer take stainless steel plates. Because that makes a hell of a lot more sense than this thing just being glass. Where you at, you motherfucker? Come here. I completely disagree with needing Teflon for that. I can see using it. I'm not against him making the large chemical reactor not Teflon. Because that's your reason for making it. For making the Teflon is to make these chemically inert casings which is steel covered in Teflon. I'm completely all for this. But needing the pipe casing to specifically have Teflon pipes? No. I don't think it's necessary. Stainless steel is fine. I say it's fine for a balanced standpoint, and I'm saying it's fine for a realistic standpoint. If you can prove to me in some way that it's not against either of those two, show your work, bring your receipts, we'll talk about it. Okay. So, I'm going to add to your to-do list to change the pipes. In the uh, uh, pipe casing to stainless, and you can do with that as you choose. Uh, let's see. Made it possible to make vinyl chloride in basic recipes. So we should be able to make PVC. 
Which, damn it, he doesn't have PVC in the thing, so I can't type in PVC. Uh, I gotta type out poly. Got a pain in my ass. Uh, plastic, Teflon, polyvinyl acetate. Why do we have this still? What the fuck do we need this for? What's this make? Oh, that's the fucking glue shit. Yeah, fuck off. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, vinyl chloride, oxygen, polyvinyl chloride. Gotcha. Okay, it's makeable. Mm, added info for if a recipe must go in a large chemical reactor, which would be this stuff. Uh, not that stuff, this stuff. Uh, large chemical reactor only. Beautiful. Because fuck them. Uh, hey, big cat. Uh, let's see. Uh, remove polycarolactum, because no fucking use for that shit. Nobody ever added one. And we ain't got a clue what the hell it is or what it was going to be used for and don't see a need for it. Uh, remove polyphenylin sulfide and dichlorobenzene because fuck them. <laughs> Again, didn't know what the hell they were for. And trying to clean up some fucking masses. Um, dichlorobenzene, but we still have dichloroethane. What the hell is dichloroethane? Nothing. There's no recipe to make it. It isn't used for anything. Can we get rid of that crap? Let's use some hard, maybe. Well, if it's used in hard, hide that bitch. Uh, is there, there's no way of making dichloro silent, whatever that long fucking $500 word is. There ain't a use for it either. Hide that son of a bitch or get rid of it. We can electrolyze it if we can get it, but we can't fucking make it. So fuck it. Get rid of it. Di dimethyl di Chlorosilane. I think. I had to try it. Fucking hell. Uh, the between the paid. Germans and the chemists, they can't just put a fucking name. They gotta take six fucking words and try to jam them all together. Here you go. Have letter soup. And you try to spit this out of your face. Fuck off! Maybe I don't want word salad coming out of my mouth. That's what's it's not mean. jammed, it's the structure. Call it Teflon. Don't call it polytetrafluoroethylene. I don't know what all needs to go into this shit. I need to know that it keeps my pan, my eggs from sticking to my pan. That's what I need to know. Teflon. Good to go. And I know Teflon is actually the uh, product name. It's not a material name. Teflon is like a trademark name. But so is Kleenex, and everybody knows you wipe your nose with it, so fuck off. That's one thing that Japanese has, well, there's no confusing ways to say words. It's like, it's very clear how everything is supposed to, how everything's supposed to sound. Mm. It's no confusing rules or anything. No, you just have to understand how to read their creative fucking writing picture drawing things. Yeah. I'm you say 
You say it's not hard to understand. I can't even tell you what they're drawing a picture of. I wouldn't have a clue how to pronounce it. Oh, let's talk. Let's talk about the um, phonics. The uh, way that the syllables are said. There's no spoken words that you can't figure out how to pronounce. Pronounce. I mean. Anybody else think he was going to start singing the hooked on phonics work for me thing? <laughs> what I think of anytime somebody says phonics. I got what you're saying. I'm just being an ass. Uh, let's see. Let's go on, let's remove that, remove that. Disabled and hid polystyrene because nobody needs fucking packing peanuts. I can't spell. It's not there, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got those four. That's it. Okay. Um, fixed oil drilling rig mining pipe behavior. Fixed oil drilling rigs mining pipe behavior. Did it have a behavior issue? Uh, that's what? basically just all inclusive for all of the uh, issues you encounter with it and stuff. Oh, okay. And speaking of, we're going to try something because you claim I can do this here. Oh. I still hate the way you do that. Just right click it with TNT. It doesn't even make a boom sound. Uh, where is our... I think it's still in here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Clear it out. And... Scan the bitch. I want to see if there's anything over here we can actually get, because... I want to retry the drill. Bear is the last person to need a chemistry lesson. Exactly. I've been doing Greg Tech for like 10 years now. I know all the chemistry. And you don't want me to learn too much chemistry because then I'll learn how to make things blow up. It's not jammed, it's the struct. Oh, that's what he was saying about the words. And yes, they are. They're jammed together. Uh, I need some paper. I still want a PDF for this. Yeah, I know. I'll put it on my to-do list. <laughs> Uh, uh. Is this a dot matrix fucking printer? Why the hell does it take this long to print this shit? Can I get a laser printer, please? I base this must be off two D five views. So you can only oh, up. good God! It's a Greg coded it then, and it it is a dot matrix printer. Old fucker. I say that he's younger than I am. Uh, I like produces six hundred and twenty-five liters of what? Would you like oh, to right. tell me of what? That's a very good question. <laughs> Get out. Well, I guess we're going to find out of what. I'm going to go get the drilling rig, and we're going to set it up in the secondary basement. I'm not putting it in the middle of the damn floor. Produces literally nothing. But 625 liters of nothing.
Because you don't just want a little bit of nothing. You want lots of nothing. Hey, there's a button for mining pipes now. Except I'm not really sure how they're going to do that when that's like... It did it again. This is what we need to check out. Like, if I do this, and I do that, currently pulling up mining pipes. But are you? Because there's no mining pipe here. Stop that. I ain't gonna make me think something's... Okay. Yeah, it didn't do jack shit. Alright. What if I do... This. I can't place it. Yeah, there's Damn. no support. Okay. Aha! Now if I do that... Currently pulling up mining pipes. Again, but are you? Now it says inactive. I don't think it likes pulling them up. <sighs> eh, I got a little bit of shit on me. Not enough to get up here, but uh, what I can do, though. Ow, that's my ass, you prick. Stop it. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Where are you at? Why are you in the water? Get out of the water. Okay. Hey, I can't insta mine. I can't insta mine one pipe, but it did do the thing. Which is what I wanted to see it do. How'd you mind if um, it's real? Give me that. Bench. Um, because. Pipe? Pipe use wrench? No, he's using a pickaxe. Oh. Did he give it to me? No, because he used a wrench. Oh. Then why'd you let it... If he's not going to give it to me, don't let me do it. Aha! Got all the pipes. I can now, up. I gotta get back up there. What are you complaining about over there now? Give me some of this. Hey, there's amethyst down here. I don't know if that'll be enough to get to the top, but we'll find out. If I had a jetpack, this would be the perfect place to use it. But I don't have a jetpack. I'm not adding one. If you want a jetpack, you have to 
as the mother as it. Okay. If you're in 119, you could add IC2, but we're not, so. I need more stuffs. I got a long way to go. Very little dirt to get me there. I can see the top. Give me some of this. Just in case. Make sure I don't fall through there. I have done dumb things before. I literally did it in the redstone video. Still can't believe I tried to kill myself in that video. That was kind of dumb. It was kind of funny. It's also kind of dumb. Alright, let's take this bitch home. Thank you. That's another good reason, because the wrench still doesn't pop shit into my inventory. Shouldn't there have been a battery in that? No, I got the battery. Never mind. Okay, nothing in the pipe. A little bit of natural gas. Take that back with us. There. You need that. You need a pickaxe. This work? I don't think that's working. We'll use this. Because that's fucking instant. Ah, oh, I hate this stupid thing. Alright, did I get all the things? It looks like I might have got all the things. Uh, let's make sure none got stuck up here on the top. Nope. I got all the things. Is there really 15 of these I'm supposed to have? For some reason I think, thought there was a different number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 13, 14, yeah, I guess 15 seems about yeah, right. 15. Because it's 3 on each side and then 3 on the top, right? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. It's my bridge. Fuck you, get off my bridge. You did not pay the troll tax. You may not pass across my bridge. Hmm. 
No, my portal's connected. Or contained. Alright, so I blew that up, like, right there. So we're gonna go yeah, down yeah, here. The location of where the... Where at? It says... Oh, Mark one actually it was here. She went to right there. Link. So I want the controller here. Yeah, so it works in the trunk. So why does it keep? What's with the torches? I can't even see those torches, dude. Uh -oh. Why are you getting torches everywhere? There are police torches there. Oh, I I can't see them. I didn't know they existed. Okay, trust me, I'll try placing torches with your trail. But... Oh, I, can't, I can't see them. You can't see none of those. Nope. Fix it. <laughs> Energy hatch and then transformer. We don't need this for here, but we're going to use it. Because for here, I can just run power to it. But we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, do you want to make a output hatch real quick? So we can make sure that it does the picking up of the things. Okay, so we'll put that there, we'll put that there, and then we need this three high, we need that three high, that three high, that three high, that three high, and then I need to be three high, and boom, bit! It works. All right. Uh, so now I need the battery and battery and power, power and mining position at Y something. And there's my all-important cobblestone. Now, question. Can we put an input hatch on it? And, um, why? Why, dude? That should not be a thing. Why can I almost punch that block out in, like, real quick? Don't, don't, don't break that. <laughs> That should take way longer to punch out. You're not putting ME hatches on nothing. But the idea was, can we put an input hatch to put the pipes in, or do we have to stand here and feed it? We don't have to stand here. Good. Fuck them. <laughs> that is just my philosophy for the day. No, fuck them. Why do I say today? That's my philosophy for every day. Um, but we want to. I don't care. You can put an Emmy. Emmy hatch. You can put a hatch on here beside it. And you can put a pump on here that'll. Well, actually, no. You wouldn't need a pump on here because it automatically outputs. So you can put your ME hatch here, and it'll pump into it, but you cannot put it in replacement of it, because fuck you. You should put ME to face on the hatch, right? Why would you need an ME hatch specifically? It's, it seems like I don't know, you just put the interface right on the front of this fucking thing, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. He's fucking weird. I've never tried to understand him. Apparently, we have oil. That's what we have. Perfect. All right. So, that means we can take these out. They're not needed. And now I can later on pipe this bad boy up. And apparently there was deep slate, red granite, and cobblestone. Just and we got our blocks. Just it, because, you know, there's no more room. No, there was only three things in there. There was another slot. Oh. That was it? I don't know how there was only three things between here and all the way at the bottom. But it was 60 of these, 40 of those, and one of those. So does that math out? Makes sense. It should, should have been way more different types of stones. It's weird. Could be hollow. Could be a big fuck off Even cave. Those are all chunks. It's probably why. Mm -hmm. In this way. I only guess. They work like the interface in keeping the items fluid to a certain value. I don't you, I mean. Hatch for that phone. Mm -hmm. Left interface on or the hatch. Mm hmm. It just sounds like a stupid GT New Horizons thing that nobody gives a fuck about. Well, it's also to TCU. That's probably where he's getting it from. Mm hmm. Yeah, if, if, if you want New Horizons knockoff crap, go play CEU. It's GTI. We don't cater to pussies. Yeah, we could add if you really want them. <clears throat> we could we could play a uh, we could play whoever the fuck that was if you want them. Good, make an add on. Yeah, fuck Junior, fuck him too. He has no taste. That boy don't know what he likes because I ain't told him what he likes yet. And if anybody believes that motherfucker listens to me, they're out of their fucking mind. Uh, is that really all I came over here for? No, I wanted to get rid of these shit. Mm. I just like saying that kind of shit because it's kind of funny what idiots on the internet actually believe me. It's like, I'm an idiot on the internet. Why would you believe anything I say? It's like I was being sarcastic er earlier because watching a guy and he ended up having like a three hour video about a court case and he was explaining at the end that, you know, it was a long fucking video, but he has to go through everything so that people will, you know, know what's going on. He can't just do a five second video that says, this is dumb or this is good and expect you to trust him. I was like, but we ain't got time for that. And who needs to be educated? We just want the opinion of the long haired idiot on YouTube. Because... Who the fuck are you to tell us your opinion and why should we give it yet? That's the way people are, so. 
All right, we got our first Yule, which means we have 16 wafers. And so with those 16 wafers, we can either start making empty processing circuit boards or make solar panels. And we were going to use it to make solar panels for powering the thing over there. But now that it's in the basement, we'll use it for circuits. Okay. Back to change log. Um, oh, I did want to go look and make sure that one pipe is there. Because it was still kind of funny that that pipe wasn't there last time. Hey, oh, you removed it last time. Pipe's there. No, the second time I did it, the pipe literally just wasn't there. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it just wasn't there. And I didn't even punch it. But it's there, so. Changes look good on that. Um, fix money. Uh, you keep saying the BDE is going to have it. I don't believe that you two are ever getting BDE done. Because he's going to wait for six months for somebody to fix something that's never going to be fixed. Prove me wrong, fucker. Um, yeah, just do what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I talk shit long enough that I end up helping him fucking finish the damn thing that I've talked shit about for a year. Asshole. I really don't like you at times. <laughs> um, made it able to have the output hatch, which we just tested. Energy and ah, energy and fluid detectors no longer have GUIs. That's beautiful. Uh, that's the thing I need. Yes, give me that. So this thing should now work. Um, gotta go down another one. So now. Pop that out. We pop that right there. And we give it a good old fashioned screwing. And it just says inverted or normal. No bullshit. I love it. Alright. So now, if we put that there, we've got 600 buckets. Out of, what is that, 4,000 buckets it can have? So that's going to be, how much redstone should this give us? Train's coming. It's like we need a comparative for this, building that out. I thought you said it would give a strong one. Yeah, it did. I was thinking, it was like you don't even need a comparator, right? Just about Power to. Yep, you shouldn't need a comparator because it, if it gave a weak signal, then you need a comparator. If it gives a strong signal, you don't. So. Yep. It's outputting. So that works. Now I can, uh, redstone me up a thing to void oxygen which is just going to be a wooden pipe connected to this pipe with a shutter on it and whenever the redstone gets to the top which means I actually need to invert this so we'll invert the thing when we actually do it and then we'll have the um, Valve open that wooden thing as soon as the um, tank goes down and it's not completely full anymore, then it'll shut. That'll work perfectly. 
You know, we still need to finish that one. Anyways. Back upstairs. And... Ethern is waiting for Mute to... Mutes to be finished. Multi-tile entity things. I was working on other work-related stuff. Yeah, I know. But I really wish those multi-tile entity things would get done. Have you seen the fucking lag we're dealing with with the old version? Fucking hell, the fucking lag on that old version is horrible. It never got any love from Bloody. Once he finished it, he never touched it again. So all the stuff from 09 that got done to make it better never got put back there. And it is a rough old version. She a rough old bird. But we'll make it work. Uh, let's see. Energy fluid hatch. We just checked that. Made energy and fluid detectors output both strong and weak redstone, which is what I just read. Or what I just said. Remove cheap, unrealistic nitroglycerin recipe. Uh, let's see. I think I know which one that is. Uh, nitroglycerin. Of course, you'll try nitrate. So, you make that from glycerol. Uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, just like you do in GT6. And you get out your glycerol trinitrate and sulfur dioxide. I do believe this is almost the same exact, I think it is the same exact, just uh, ten times bigger. Because Greg does 280, 300, and 420, and this does 2800, 3000, 4200. So yeah, it's the same recipe. So no more making it with uh, nitrogen and Oh, it's this one that you actually took out. So the only way we can make glycerol is from biomass, which is same as GT6. Um, we'll have to look at it when we get to the other one because we need to figure out what the difference is between the biomass recipe and the fermented biomass. We'll look at that when we get to the hard recipe server. Hi, Zycor. Um, so we're going to have to set up a thing for this so we can get our glycerol, so we can make our uh, nitroglycerin, so we can make biodiesel, or nitrodiesel. Fuck biodiesel. Nobody cares. Um, remove cheap and re re rename glycerol trinitrate to nitroglycerin with the former name in parentheses. Just seen that. Uh, moved ammonia to hard recipes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, remove dumb silicone item. All the items it had have been merged into silicone rubber. Uh, move silicone rubber and styrene butadiene rubber recipes into hard mode. Which is perfectly fine because I don't know why the fuck they even need to exist. They especially don't need to be in the easy version. Night, Debusa. So, we should not see... Let's see, we have silicon dioxide, silicon, silicon, silicone rubber. 
thought you said you hid that. I haven't hid anything, Patty. Yeah, I just wanted the recipes. Oh. Well, get it hidden. Because if we can't make it, there's no reason to see it. Okay, so we can't make it. Um, molten silicon, silicon rubber, yeah. We can't make it, so that'll be in the hard stuff. Uh, let's see. And the styrene butadine. That is this stuff here. And yeah, can't make that stuff either. So that can get hidden as well. Uh, rename the coal boiler to solid fuel boiler. Yep. That's a good change, because it can burn wood and stuff. There's no reason why it ever should have not been able to. And we still have the lava boiler, which is way less useful now, because lava's a lot further away. I never even made one in this one. I need to test that, because I haven't made one. Um, let's see. Made vanilla pickaxe is place torches. Which I don't have vanilla pickaxes, so I'll test that one, I believe, in GT4R. Because I think this mm -hmm. is his fix for unfucking my <laughs> diamond pickaxe in GT4R. I was expecting him to make a GTI version of the diamond pickaxe. But instead, he's just making the vanilla one work properly for placing torches and for felling trees. So we'll test that one when we get to GT4R this week. Fuck are you doing, Junior? Junior, you're an asshole. Fuck off of working. Um. Fix comparator and repeater recipes not using other stones. So, comparator can now use, accepts any forge stone. That's beautiful. It would be nice if uh, the nether quartz would, re would be any quartz gem. Or any gem quartz, whichever one that is. That way we could use milky quartz, nether quartz, certus quartz. Um, there isn't a quartzite gem. Is that the only ones we have gems for? Is those three? Makes it, I, I actually moved milky quartz from the quartz tag because it was causing a duplicate recipe where you could macerate milky quartz in the quartz dust. Okay, but how's that a problem? See, you and I have this, you and I have this different idea of milky quartz, though, because you actually have milky quartz as the LV sensor, and if I remember correctly, you have nether quartz as another sensor. Yeah, you have that one as MV. I would personally make it milky quartz or nether quartz for both the LV and the MV and just be done with it because that is literally what Milky Quartz is. It's meant to be your way of getting quartz without going to the nether. They're literally the same thing. So it's weird having them as two different ones. Uh, what do you have for the next one? Uh, if I could spell sensor. Okay, so this one is HV, which is emerald, which isn't even a quartz thing. And then EV is an ender pearl, 
which isn't even a gem. And then it's Ender Eye, which is just fucking weird. And I know these are the same thing. It was quartz. It was quartzite, nether quartz, emeralds, ender pearl, eye of ender, if I remember correctly, in GT5. I still think that's stupid. To me, if it's going to be a sensor and you're going to use quartz as like the LV one, <laughs> which kind of makes sense because you would have quartz. Uh, quartz is kind of used for that kind of stuff. I would say you don't need to change the tip material of the sensor. Just milky quartz, nether quartz, all the way the fuck across. Because that would also help with the fact that there is a large community of Greg Tech and GT type players that like to play in peaceful. And by having an Ender Pearl and an Eye of Ender in that recipe forces them to cheat in those things if you don't have a way of getting them. I'm going to just change all tiers, just use quartz and stuff. Mm hmm. That's the main problem I was having with quartz, monkey quartz being a. like having the same time, it's just that. Was well, basically the recycling recipes term, mostly recipes term, milky quartz and tintas. There are two recipes that are being added. Oh, okay. Stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. They should each have their own dust. They should each be able to make it be made into their own gem, but they should be the same thing. Kind of like blue sapphire and green sapphire. Whatever you can use blue sapphire for, you kind of should be able to use green sapphire for. Unless you're considering the green sapphire to be an impure version of the blue one, they're still sapphires. They're still going to have the same properties for the most part as the other. It's not like false fake ruby and ruby where one is magnesium and one is chromium uh, aluminum oxide. Um where it's a completely different type of material. Yeah, I still need to make green sapphire visible for it in place of sapphire. Hmm. At least you're not going crazy like Greg and putting 20 different colors, because, well, it's not 20, I exaggerate. It's green, yellow, purple, blue, non-colored... Because which is still blue, because for some reason he still has to leave the non the old blue one that just doesn't have a name. And I miss well, that's only I five. I swear. Green, blue, purple, yellow, orange, and then technically ruby is a sapphire, so that's the other one. I don't see why can you just have the blue, I could just have feather sapphire be blue and not have blue sapphire at all. Makes no sense. I I don't know. Greg has a thing with gems. If you go look at GT6, he has added so many different gems, and 90% of them have very limited uses, like making pickaxes. That's like their only use. But then he doesn't want you making gem tools early on, so you have to have aluminum to make a tier 2 saw, because you have to have the crystalline plate to make the gem pickaxe. So, he makes them damn near useless. But it's the same as Topaz. 
He has two different colors of topaz. I think you have two different colors of topaz in this one, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we have blue and orange topaz. What use is there for these to be added other than I want to collect all the gems? Because they're literally the same thing and they literally have no fucking use other than making tools out of them. But at least you still have the GT5 philosophy of you can, if you get the damn things, you can make a tool out of them when you get them. You don't have to wait until you have aluminum to make a tier two, uh, buzzsaw. Cause you have to, ha if you want to make them early, you have to have a flawless or an exquisite version that you can cut down with a handsaw and then you can do it. But when you're talking about things like topaz, Opal, Spinal, and a lot of those that, uh, Adventine or Adventurine or whatever the hell it's called, and all the different Jaspers he added, those are random gems that can spawn anywhere or nowhere. So it's very little chance you're going to get a flawless or an exquisite, they just take up room. It's added bloat that I don't understand. That's a, that's why I like that he has the generifier, because we can generify most of them, and I've been working on getting him... I just got him to add... Because um, there's also cat's eyes, I forgot about those. Uh, cat's eyes, tiger eyes, dragon eyes. There's like six or eight of those. I, I got him to add it so we can generify all of those just to cat's eye. Cause that's the only one I heard of. I've never heard of dragon eye gems. I've never heard of tiger eye gems. I've always heard of the cat's eye gem. So to me, that's the normal. Um, and the others are just colored variants of the same thing. So that's what that one goes. The Adventine, I have no fucking clue what that is. I've never heard of that gem. So I have no idea what he would generify that to. Um, but yeah, it's really annoying trying to set up a sorting system for gems. And you've got an entire wall that's just rainbow colored of every type of gem. By the way, I should do the same thing with the emitter that I do with the sensor. Uh, yeah, because that's just the quartz. That's just the quartz um, thing in the center of the emitter. So yeah, yeah, that absolutely should just be quartz. Because I'm guessing this goes by the same. Yeah. Anything that uses an ender pearl or an eye of ender that's part of processing should not be a thing. Because as much as I hate the fact that people play in peaceful, it's absolutely a thing. And I think that's the only thing you have other than the field generator. Still got to figure out what to do about those because those all have to have ender pearls in the middle. Um, yeah, field gems need ender pearls, then ender eyes, and then quantum eyes. Quantum eyes, eyes. yeah, and I the know. Stars, then quantum stars. Um, I'm looking to see. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got an idea. Ender Pearl should actually have a recipe in the electrolyzer. Yeah, beryllium, potassium, nitrogen, and chlorine. And that gives you 16 for that recipe. From 16 Ender Pearl dust, you can make that. So could we add a recipe that makes these 
a chemical reactor recipe where if you put those four things together, you could actually make enderpearl dust. Or you wouldn't even need a chemical reactor, just a mixer recipe to mix those things together. And then you can, you already have an autoclave recipe to autoclave them into ender pearls. That would give people a way to make the ender pearls for the field generators. Cause field generators are kind of weird. Um, it's to me, a field generator is a magnetic field is the way I would understand it. So I would think that a field generator should have like neodymium or magnetic iron or magnetic steel in it and a set of coils, which I'm guessing the osmium wire is supposed to be the coil. So to me, putting neodymium in the center, like a neodymium rod or something, would make a lot more sense. But with Greg having it originally as an ender pearl in there, for some reason, maybe he's thinking this is a different kind of field. I don't know. I don't know. When I think of kitchen, I think of magnetic field out. Why I should need another stars or ender pearls that were made in the sense. Especially the quantum star. It's like. And getting the osmium is a pain in the ass enough. Like, the only thing that you use this field generator for is making the replicator. And I don't see where, why you need to go. The, the whole point of the, the whole hard part of the replicator is the amount of power you have to stuff into the fucker to do what it's got to do and all of the UU matter you have to make. Fuck it, OBS just decided to take a shit for a second. Okay, it's back. Um, just in case you didn't hear it, the replicator takes ass tons of power, ass tons of UU matter, which takes ass tons of power to make. I don't see where needing an ender pearl in the recipe is necessary. It Hello, doesn't need to be magic. Um, it is quantum level, so it's beyond our own understanding, but I don't see where that relates to an ender pearl. Um, hey, crazy. So yeah, I would be perfectly fine with you taking out the ender pearl and putting in either neodymium or coming up with, fuck, even Nakwada, if you have some way of guaranteeing we can find it in the nether, or in the end, even if it's, even if we have to go hopping from thing to thing, from uh, island to island to find it, as long as we can get it, I wouldn't even have a problem with that, since that okay, is a... In the end. That's, that's actually one area still haven't tested yet. Ronald Jen is... Yeah, we need to get there. And other than me, who waits this long to get to the end, and hell, with with the way they change the nether, getting ender pearls ain't hard. You just walk into the nether and find one of those blue biomes, and you've got all the ender pearls you'd ever need. The nether star would actually make more sense, because that's actually more difficult if you wanted to say it was there for balance. If you're trying to keep people, if you're trying to gate people, making them kill fucking withers, and to me, that's just annoying. There's a lot of people that don't want to 
deal with going and trying to get those fucking heads. So I I'm all for uh changing that to either neodymium or naquita. Because neodymium makes sense because it is like the uh wait a minute, is that what they uh Looking something up. Give me one second. So it's called rare earth magnets. Are those neodymium magnets or are those something different? Neodymium rare earth magnet. So yeah, that's just neodymium. Rare Earth Magnet is a strong, permanent magnet made from alloys of rare earth elements. Can you cite this a little bit better? Developed in the 70s and 80s, Rare Earth Magnets are the strongest type of permanent magnet made producing a significantly stronger magnetic field than other types such as ferrite or... Alnico magnets. Magnetic field typically produced by rare earth magnets can exceed 1.2 Teslas. There are two types, a neodymium magnet and a samarium cobalt magnet. But we don't have samarium, so it would have to be a neodymium magnet, which is what they use in... Uh, I do believe what I'm looking at is the heart and a hard drive. Um, so yeah, I would say neodymium would be, and that comes from rare earth. So yeah, I I would say a neodymium magnet makes the most sense. Will you be playing Hexit Two? I don't know what Hexit Two is, and no. Once I'm done with GTI. Do you know how long I'm going to be working on GTI? We have a whole nother thing to do. We'll be working on this for fuck another year, probably. I haven't even gotten through the basic version. We've got to do the hard version yet. Yeah, Although that, once we get to the hard version, that's going to be more just straight playing and less fucking work for trends. I mean, I would like to get the hard version to be at 119, but we'll see how that goes. You're still bound and determined to stick me with IC2 Classic, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you're going to find something for refining, or you're going to write that son of a bitch as uncraftable or something. I am not refining ores in alcohol. I refuse. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, that is the goofiest idea he ever came up with. Ain't Hexit that stupid version, that stupid mod pack they made where the origin was like upside down and you could find diamonds and gold and redstone on the surface? Anyways, no, and fuck off, I'm working here. My Minecraft playing is pretty much limited to Greg Tech or Greg Tech adjacent things. I don't play too many stupid things. Um, and woman, what the hell are you doing coming in here hollering at me and not getting in here and getting some work done? Make me craft all this bullshit. 
Supposed to have a crafting winch, damn it. Yeah, we still got enough power. <laughs> and we got two of those done. Throw that in. Busy. You're always busy. Busy pissing me off. Oh, you made this take an MV cutter, didn't you? Oh, it takes an HV cutter. Oh, go fuck yourself, you brick. Can't use the same old fucking cutter. What an asshole. Alright, so we need an HV buzzsaw so we can do these. What was it I was wanting to make? I know I originally wanted to make that, but what was it we needed the, um, there was something we needed, it wasn't one of the regular machines, uh, we do need to make the large electrolyzer so we can test that, but it wasn't that, it was one of the multi-blocks I wanted to make. We needed that for. Uh, maybe it's an energy circuit. Oven. Oh, the large gas turbine. I'll bet you that's what it was. I wanted to make that bitch. Oh no, it was a combustion engine. That's what it was. That's what I wanted to make. Yeah, that's why that's why Andy I'm making titanium and my co. Mm-hmm. We gotta get tungsten made soon. We haven't been doing much with processing and just been working on, um, changes and distillation stuff for so long. High pressure steam turbine, that needs the energy ones. And an IV fucking haul. Processing array. That needs a Lapatron energy orb. Oh, you didn't add the or the uh, orb cluster. Oh, you did. Takes your ropium plate? The fuck? Can we even get your ropium? Why the fuck does that take your ropium plates? That's like tier two fusion. Holy shnikes. I could see it taking iridium plates, but eurobium? You're, I uh, I I got the recipe from. I don't, from I, don't know, I don't know where you got it from either, but hold on a minute. We're going to load up GT5 again. GT5U, that one. The regular one. Is, We're going to go look. Are you only or something? Hmm? What's your European fusion only? Yeah, tier two fusion only. You had to build the first one 
And then the second one. No, the fusion in here is still incomplete. Yeah. And please don't make there be three tiers of fucking fusion reactors. No, there isn't. There's only one. Good. That was one of the dumbest ideas Bloody ever had. Let's make this fusion reactor and then do it again. And it, it was just upgrading the controller was all you really did. I would have made it to where you, if I was going to do multi tiers of fusion, I would make you have instead of the ring with the coils inside of it, I would make you do a ring of the coil. So instead of having one coil, you'd have to have four coils that was hollow and then the casings all around those. And that would be your tier two. And then for the tier three, you would have to have um, two on the top, two on the side, two on the bottom, two on the left. So you'd have to have a bigger ring that was a two by two hollow. And then the casings around that. So you would not only have to remake each one of, you wouldn't have to just make a new controller, but you'd have to make everything else that goes with it as well. Cause damn it, if it's going to be bigger, it needs to be bigger. Okay, so yeah, currently here you can make molten neoprium, you just need molten neodymium, fusion, fusion reactor, and 24, 576 new per tick. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Where did you see this recipe for europium? Is it the molten, molten stuff? Yeah. Ah. See, I didn't look up the molten shit. I was looking at the uh, plates and the dust. So you need fusion with neodymium and hydrogen. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I've got the other one up, so let's go look and see. Um... And see, the only issue is, I don't know. In here, if it's even going to tell you what tier fusion you need. Okay, that's replicating it. What do you actually get out of? Do you get the liquid stuff? Yeah, maybe it's that yet. It's come molten. It makes sense that it comes out as molten. I didn't think about that though. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the same exact recipe. Forty-eight hydrogen and sixteen neodymium, and that gives you sixteen europium. Um, but see, the recipe doesn't tell you which tier of fusion it is, and. Which is an issue, because it kind of should. Um, but I can't remember. See, the Fusion Controller Mark 1 can have 1 to 16 energy hatches. Oh, okay, there it is. So, all hatches must be LUV or better. And it has to be 2048 EU a tick and 10, 10 MIO, whatever the hell MIO EU capacity per energy hatch. So then anything that's going to take 4096 or more than 2048 has to be in the tier two. And anything that's above 4096 has to go in the tier 3. The tier 1, you can't see it because it's locked because you have to make it in the um, assembly line. But if I'm remembering it correctly from when me and Crazy did it in Fear the Night, 
you had to have plutonium 241 plate for tier one. And then if I'm remembering it correctly, you could make, um, uh, here, I can do it this way. Uh, Europium, Europium, give me fusion, thank you. Okay, so voltage 2048, that would be your helium, uh, 4096 if you want to do the basic tritium deuterium is 4096. So by what I just said, doesn't that mean you'd have to have tier two? Just to do tritium and deuterium? I do believe. So you could do helium 3 and deuterium in the tier 1, but you couldn't do tritium and deuterium in tier 1, which is really weird. If you want to make us, that's tier 2. Uh, if you want to make iron plasma, you needed tier 3 because that's 8192. Uh, molten iron, which is basically the same thing. Sulfur plasma from lithium and aluminum is way even fucking higher than that. I didn't even know that recipe existed. Uh, nitrogen plasma is even more. That's tier 3 plus. Geranium from gallium and radon. Uh, tungsten from tritium and thallium. Then thallium. Uh, where in the hell? These recipes are just going up. Where in the hell is the neutronium? There it is, neutronium. Oh, neutronium was top tier. You needed way the fuck up there for that. That's 98304. I thought that was the first one you made. Huh, I guess I'm wrong. There's a 239. Can't even believe you can make 239. Plutonium. There's a Mericeum, which is 49152, which is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I hate the way they did this. So, what was... How much did you need for your question? So, you needed 24,576. And by what this says here, you had to get all the way up to Tier 3 before you would be able to make that. That's weird. Okay, so orb. So that's the orb, which was made like that, which is ridiculous, um, which you didn't do. And then orb cluster, I can't tell you what it takes. Oh, there it is. It does take fucking your opium. Fucking hell. I, if you make it in the circuit thing. But I am guessing that if you did the other one, if you did this one where you scan it and you made it in the assembly, that it didn't take it. Because in GT4, oh uh, no, cluster wasn't in there. Uh, Hold on. Back to here for a second. Let me go... Did we have that in GT5? I'm going to go see if we had that in GT5. I know I've made one of those and I've never had Europium before. There was a version of GT5U that, oh, that might have been an old 09 version that didn't have the circuit assembler because the circuit changes came late. So it might have been before that when you could make it. 
Because I was thinking it was just iridium plates. It was a bunch of them. The reinforced iridium ones. Because it's really weird that even the... Uh, that this one, the regular orb... Because if you think about it, this is actually pretty cheap. You're using two energy flow circuits and 18 engraved Lapitron chips, which is more, ex which is not, oh yeah, you get three per Lapitron. So yeah, that's not even that expensive. That's only taking uh, six Lapitrons to make. Well, eight, because you got to have two of those, which is one. So it's eight of them. It's eight Lapitrons. And I think the old energy orb that Greg did was literally eight of them around a reinforced plate. Now, this is weird that you can use a processing circuit board and three of them. Oh, that's never mind. Fuck off. That's the actual... Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay. 08's up. Let's go look and see if it's in this one. Because I can't remember if it is or not. I think the orb should be. So I do believe that was something Greg added. Oh yeah, we got orb and orb cluster in here. So... Two energy flow circuits and 18 of them. So that's Greg's recipe for it. And then it's... No, this can't be Greg's recipe because it's got europium. And Greg never has added europium. So I'm completely wrong. Ignore me. This... This... Yeah, I can... Let me go look at it, because I got that, too. Uh, maybe this is something that just bloody added. But that means we have to make europium to make that in 08. And there isn't even... 08 doesn't have but one fusion. He added three tiers in 08. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I didn't think he had three tiers. In. Okay, I gotta have a whole new talk with Junior about what we're doing for Race to Fusion. Because I did not remember there being three tiers in 08. I thought he added one. Because this was supposed to be the GT4 added on to the end of GT5. When we originally played this, we never got to Fusion. And I was just going by, you know, that far into it. I think we got to EV when we played it. And then we went to 09. But I was told that this was just added on. So let's see what 07 has. Greg may have never even added the orbs, or the, I swear he had the orb. Yeah, there's the orb, but not the cluster. Okay, so the cluster is a bloody added thing. The orb is that exact same recipe. Eight of those, and you didn't even need a iridium reinforced plate. I swore we had to have iridium reinforced plate to make that. But I still stand by the fact that an iridium reinforced plate would make more fucking sense than europium. Because you're going from making an Lapitronic energy orb. Now, granted, this is 8K voltage. So the orb is 32K voltage. Do you really need 32K voltage before fusion?
Yeah, so yeah. we do we do have to put that into the context of this. But that's still a major leap going from eight Lapatron crystals in an assembler at EV basically is all you're doing here. Because these two are easy to get. They're HV. Uh, they're, you're jumping in technology from pre-fusion to post-fusion for energy storage. If you want to stay consistent with GT5U, then, yeah, your opium's what it should be. But I think it's a heck of a jump. But, again, it's 32,000 EU. There is nothing you need 32,000 EU for other you than... Do you boxes to hold those? Um... No. No, you don't have battery boxes to hold them. They did. They had up to max battery boxes. Because remember, GT5U09 has that fucking ultimate battery. Which, by God, don't add that stupid fucking you can't charge it thing in 300 years. Unless you're going to add my idea for it, which is because a battery cannot take more than one amp of its own power. So you can only give that battery whatever the hell its its maximum voltage was. I literally closed down GT09. Uh, Let me bring it back up. But it could only take the maximum of whatever it was. But the max it could take total, it would take you like 300 years to be able to fill it. No matter if you could make more, you just couldn't jam the power into it any faster. Um, which makes sense, because you'd blow up a battery if you tried to over-voltage it. And my idea was that you had to basically make a multi-block charging station that was like cryo um, cooled so you could dump mass amounts of power into this thing but you had to also feed a lot of power in to keep the chamber that it was in cold enough to keep the battery from blowing up as you were filling it. Okay. I got GT509 back up. Battery. So there's your ultimate battery, which is 524,288 voltage. But it can hold, uh, let's see, 100,000 million billion trillion quadrillion. Is that septillion? I think that's septillion for, for the. It's nine with a whole fuck ton of zeros, all right? And I let me get the calculator out, because it's been a while since I've done this calculation. But if you can feed this... Um, let me get the... Where the fuck is my calculator? My calculator is being weird. Uh, oops. Damn it! Hit the right thing. Oh, it's there. Okay, so you're looking at nine. That's a seven. Get your fingers in the right place. 
9223 divided by 52 4288 equals 17592186 point something. So this is how many ticks it would take to fill it. If you could put that much power into it in one tick, it would take that many ticks to do it. And that many ticks, if you divide that by 20, it would be that many seconds. And there's 60 of those in a minute. So if we divide that by 60, it would take that many minutes. And if we say 60 minutes in an hour so we divide that again you're down to 24 244 that's how many hours it would take and there's 24 hours in a day so we'll divide that by 24 it would take that many days to fill it. And there's 365 in a year. So it would take you 27,892 years to fill that battery. So it's over the 300 years, I was thinking. So... Yeah, that's why I was saying, if you're going to make it, make it to where we can charge it. Because that would be a nice goal to give somebody, is can you fill that motherfucker? And even if you could make the power to fill it, you don't have the 27,892 years to do it in. Yeah, that's absurd. <laughs> yes, it's absurd. <laughs> and then he also had these, an energy module and an energy cluster, which is between the Lapatron cluster and the ultimate battery. Why they're in a different order, I don't know. But you have the energy module and the energy cluster, which I can't tell you how to make because they're scanner recipes in the thing. You'd have to go into the code. Um, but even above the energy orb cluster, you have two other voltages and then that. So, yeah, right here is uh, all the battery boxes. There's a max voltage battery buffer. which is only 2097, which isn't even enough to... Is it? There's too many numbers there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, okay, ultimate can handle the ultimate battery. Max voltage can handle something even bigger than that. Yeah, it's in the UHP. I don't think a, there's a battery for that. Because that's the biggest a, battery there is, is the ultimate. Fill this to win Minecraft. Yeah, good luck with that. You're never winning Minecraft because you're never filling that battery. I think that's literally the reason why he made it. Is it supposed to be what, what you're generation would call a meme 
You can't win Minecraft, so you can't fill this battery? Hmm. Just, just fucking... Do you know how much that kills people like me, right? Fucking give me a thing and challenge me to do it, but it's just a joke and you can't fucking do it. I hate that shit. If you're going to challenge me to fill it, let me fill it. I will run... Well, no, I wouldn't, because I'd get way too bored way too quick and tell you to go fuck yourself. But what I was going to say is I'll make 12 fucking fusion reactors and just pump all the power straight into that thing and do nothing else. But no, I can't even lie and say I'd do that because I'd get bored. Mm -hmm. I'm not That's fucking... Horrible. I'm not XAR who absolutely would do it because that some bitch is talking about making like six more fusion reactors because he's out of his damn mind. I think the only reason why he hasn't yet is because he's trying to figure out the power issues we have on the server. Or not the power issues, the uh, lag issues. Because we've been having some with GT6. Alright, so yeah, we need... Hmm? Game game might be a bit lacking frame right now. In this, right now. Hmm. Not even sure what you're supposed to do after fusion. Start a new game, because once you get to fusion, you're done. That's the way I'd always do it. Okay, so... We can mix it in here. Or we can make it in the... Okay, this is supposed to be the fermented biomass. Made in the pyroluce oven, why are we making regular biomass in here? It makes more in less time. But that's supposed to be the fermented version. Right? I'm loading up GT. Um, it's this biomass, right? With this one. Uh, that's that one. This one only shows that. Mm, give me this. Brewing machine, biochaff, in the biomass with water in the mixer, and it'll make that. Yeah, that's the only way is in a brewing machine for that one. And the other one, which is the IC2 one, which for some reason only comes up this because it's fucking stupid. I need this so I can get the actual fluid. There we go. So that is in the mixer. You can make it in the pyroluce oven. Holy shit. I have no idea why. It's because you're heating it, I guess. So, did we do... There is so much shit I fucking forgot. Oh, we had to ferment it afterwards. No, we could literally... That's what we did. See, why is there two? That makes no sense. Why can you ferment it in the pyroluce oven or make it in the pyroluce oven? What's the reason for having two different ones if you can make them both in the same machine? That does not make sense. So that's why I thought the pyroluce oven was used for making the fermented biomass. Which we don't need fermented biomass in the basic version because that's your way of getting ammonia. We just need the regular biomass, which I still say is weird to make in the in the 
thing now. They also did it in a brewing machine instead of a mixer. But it's not a... I can kind of see it, but it's weird. Okay, let's get back. Do you have any neodymium? Do we have any neodymium? <laughs> uh, that's a damn good question. Uh, give me a second. I gotta fix this. There we go. Now I got it coming back to the right one. So I can get off of this screen. Uh, I don't know that we... No. Actually, no. We do not have any neodymium right now. Um, because you get it from rare earth or best tonight, if I remember correctly. And we have not processed any of our rare earth yet. Uh, we can probably get some. Because we should have a bunch of rare earth. I'm looking, by the way. Uh, rare earth. We've got a fuck ton of it. Uh, so we just need to centrifuge that, and that'll give us neodymium, yttrium, lanthium, serum, cadmium, and cesium. So yeah, I can get you some. Okay. Do you have any? I don't think I've processed any bass tonight because fuck that shit. Nobody cares. Hell, I don't even know if we've mined any of it yet. Wolf and eight. Alright, let me throw this in the. Centrifuge, and I'll get you some neodymium. What the hell do you need neodymium for? It's chromium combustion battery. You need to try to make the um, motors and pistons, right? Oh, okay. How much do you need? Just a few rods. Why does this aluminum keep coming in here? It should go up here. Is that not open? This one isn't open. There's nothing in it. That one's not open. There's nothing in it. The aluminum is. And that's got the... Alright, we'll keep an eye on it. There's lanthium. There's your first neodymium. Uh, where's neodymium go on this bitch? To the periodic table! Uh, neodymium is down in... Yeah. Lanthium, serum, neodymium are in that bottom part of the thing. So it's going to go... Wait a minute, why is lead in... Am I going the wrong way? Which way did we go? Arsenic is there. Uh, Gallium, tin, antimony, iodine. Oh no, business is like 83. Okay. So yeah, bismuth is here. So then lanthum, serum, and neodymium are going to be those three right there. So 
Neodymium will be this one. There's serum and lanthium. Serum is that one. Lanthium is that one. No, that is backwards, you dumb fuck. Uh, get this coal out of my hand. Lanthium goes first. Then serum. Then neodymium. Okay. So we need to open that one. And we need to open that one. Alright, so that takes care of that. And you've got two neodymiums so far. Which we need to put in the blast furnace to cook it. At HV, which we have. So, not a problem. Except you're cooking titanium. So, it's in there to go in when the titanium gets done. You do know we have, like, limited power right now, right? You're not going to be able to cook up all that shit. We might need to make, um those other blast furnaces or those other distillation towers down there in the regular oil distillation towers because we are running very low i really need to make a reactor is what i need to do we are to the point that i really need to make a reactor except guess what nuclear reactor core does not have a recipe doesn't it? I mean, I had a no. recipe because I didn't. So you need to fix that so we can make a nuclear reactor. Which means we need to get the uh, uranium stuff figured out. We need to get that processing done. We need to get a lot of processing done. We gotta get tungsten processing done. We gotta get uranium processing done. And I need to get upstairs and work on that shit up there. Alright, so I need to make biomass. And then we need to distill said biomass. And we need to decommission a couple old distillation towers. Okay, this one is for refinery gas. We definitely need to keep that. This is for char charcoal byproducts. And all of these were for charcoal byproducts byproducts. So we're going to use this one is going to be for biomass. Now for biomass um can you hide fermented biomass? We don't have a yeah. distillation tower recipe to run it in, so there's no reason to make it. Okay, so... One, two, three, four high is how high we need this. 
and it's currently three. So I just need to take hearts off of that one. Uh, we need to get this one emptied. Methane, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen. The only thing I really care to save out of this is the methane and the ethylene. The rest of it I'm just going to avoid. I really don't care. And I do believe that is running our methane. Uh, why can I not empty that in there, dude? There we go. Now it finally emptied. I don't know why that took two or three times. That was weird. I might have done something wrong. Who knows? Oh, I can't empty it this way. I can't. Uh, why is there an in and out if I can't empty it that way? With a drum. Mm -hmm. If I take drum, I put it in the in on the output hatch, it doesn't fill from the output hatch. No, that's weird. Fix it. By the way, I'm going to do an old man break. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. All right, now I got my ethylene. Then it's carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen, which I really don't even need the hydrogen. Although I might save it. I might have shoved in that other gas turbine we have. By the way, I stopped running continuum for now. Okay. Good idea. Put most of the dust in the EV table. I'm guessing ethylene is, uh... Go the fuck down, guess? I have no reason to believe I'm right, but... Let's find out. Yep. Ethylene is a go the fuck down gas. Alright, so we need to make this one taller. Where is all my fucking scaffold? There's all my fucking scaffold. Now, I'm also going to need to do this for now. Since it's empty. Because none of this is needed. For the current operation. means none of this is needed. Ah, you fell on the fucking floor, you prick. What'd you have to go and fall on the damn floor for? Oh, there's a cable there, you idiot. You covered that. It's like, why in the hell can't I drill that? Because, well, it's not something you can drill. Alright, so there's all of those, and we also, yeah, that's going to have a little bit in it, because it's connected to this one, it's unconnected from that one, yeah, those little bits of methane, I am not going to try to care about trying to save those one liters of methane out of there. Alright, you guys stay right there. I'll be right. Motherfucker. He did it again. Just make it to where these things go in my inventory. We keep having this problem, but ooh, just because you're using a wrench means you want everything to fly six thousand meters away. Minecraft's retarded. Trends won't fix his shit. That's your daily reminder, by the way. Hope you enjoy it.
Now, why in the world does it say it's got 74 or 64 car, small carbon dust in it again? Why is that acting like it's getting full again? I have to keep an eye on that. It definitely should not be getting full. Alright, that there. Now, is this the one that was HV? Yeah. We need to not be HV. Which means we also need to fix the transformer. I do not have a day job. I want to steal a transformer, or do I want to make a transformer? I'm seriously thinking right now I want to steal a transformer. Yeah, let's steal one off here. Give me that, and give me that. And I don't know if you would consider what I do in my day job. Uh, I don't know that I get paid enough to consider this a day job. Um, this is what I do for fun. This is my um, hobby. Okay, we have power. Why the fuck's a transformer being a bitch? That's EV. Going in, make HV. Yeah, why you, why you gotta want to be a turd now? Uh, now I can't get out of here, thanks. Okay, now it has power. Why'd I have to place it twice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's got power. And we should now be able to turn it on. Give me that. There we go, that's done. Uh smart small charcoal dust. Like everything else, you can't fucking burn it. We really gotta talk about the whole uh not being able to burn things that are burnable. There are way too many things in here that are burnables that can't be burned. Every small and tiny damn dust. Alright, so we need to get a mixer. And we need biochaff. Which means we need plant balls. We've got this setup up here for that. We have the compressor here. 
I have a macerator here. We have the mixer here with the biomass in it. We need to get rid of this. So we need to turn the fluid off. So this thing will finish running. And we'll just put the drum here. And that'll fill up with the ethanol and then we'll go burn that. Okay, it looks like we're done with the pyroloose oven. Uh, not completely, we're not. We just ain't on at the moment. Okay, never mind. I was thinking we were actually out. But we're not. Okay. So the problem is we can't use a tree farm for the biomass yet because he still needs to work on the fertilizer. Because that thing eats way too much fertilizer. Way too quickly. We can't keep up with it. Um... Get those out of my inventory. And we never did make... Uh, the harvester. We need to get one of these made. And it's LV. And we now have the stuff we can make solar panels. So we need okay. to make this one. What's up? Made you an HP cutter. Yay! Now, question is... Where in the fuck are we putting it? Um, I don't know if we have enough. Did you just turn this one off? The HV chem reactor? Yeah, it's disabled. If you ever that the um I got in the machine they'll tell you what the state is. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should have enough come through here. So we'll just put it there. And then that won't make it too difficult to get the fluid from here, which we can have go in right here. I gotta get it there, but we can do that.
Oh, that's not going to go through there either. Let's go to there. Yeah, that'll work. Did you ever make these things burnable? Hey, you did. Duration, two ticks. <laughs> they burn up quick. All right. So that means we should now be able to cut our buells down. Where the hell did I put the damn things? There they are. It's going to take 40 seconds apiece. But they are running. All right, so how are we going to chart? How are we going to power the harvester? Because it says it's LD, but it doesn't say how much power it takes. I think it just take much. Hmm? Yeah, I don't think it takes much. You. Let me check. Because we can make a solar panel, but I don't know if we want to. As it's. Fence motherfucker to make that one. That one's already going to take two to do that. So if we do this one, it's going to take uh, 16. Okay, there. So it uses 16 of you every time it harvests the crop. So it's it. not particularly much for harvest. Okay. So we could try to make the ULV solar panel and then put a battery box with a battery in it. Because it's Probably not going to harvest that often. So maybe we'll try doing that. Just thinking of... You want to start making the harvester? I'm just wondering if we want to put it where I'm going to put this thing at. 
because we pretty much want it over here. Um, I don't know if this little landing there is wide enough. It's only eight, but we only need nine. So if I knock this back, which we kind of need to do because of this thing that's here. Yeah, I could literally put one right here. Wrong one. Put it here. Let's see if I can find a hoe. the hell is these women not need to leave no hose around for me to get a hold of? You'd think they don't trust me or something. Got the hoe. You got a hoe? Yeah. What the hell do you got a hoe for? Those have one on me. Now, what do I want to plant? Or I go hoeing that up. Definitely not wheat. Wheat grows slow. Pumpkins are slow as well. I can do sugar cane. That would actually take up less room. You have to have water every now and then. The sugar cane kind of grows faster. Mm, probably just end up doing potatoes. To be honest. Let me get me to do this. I got one from that. Uh, potatoes, I got three. Carrots, I got three. So, yeah, I'll probably just be potatoes. And I know it's a random number for all these things. But I don't remember getting much off of tomatoes that 
would make it a better option. Your crop, crop harvester just done. Here's the hole. There we go. I might want to move that because we're going to lose at least one, and then we also got to do piping there too. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yep, pipe right through this area here up to the water. Decorate this. Alright, so we need. Let me see, put that down for a second. So I can put that down. There's your hoe. That's, that's too low, you have to put one up. Oh, it's gotta be up a block? Yeah. Well, shit. Okay. I'll hold that again then. So we're going to have to have the pipe coming out of this thing, which, if I could get this bitch to turn, um, okay, 
That's the way we want it. Alright, so we'll have the pipe go this way. And hey, that's almost perfect. Okay, so that'll be that. Uh, you need to get off here. So you'll stack with the rest of this shit. Alright, so now we just gotta deal with uh, powering it. Which we need to do from the top. So we need to start working on making a solar panel for this. Because trying to get LV out there to power that is going to be a pain in the ass. Gonna have to go around the field. It isn't that far below it. Now we need to start making an LV solar panel. So we're going to need eight UAV hulls. We're going to need 16 soldering alloy cables, 16 batteries, we've got the 16 wafers, 16 glass, and we need to make the raw carbon mesh, it takes 8 for one fiber, it takes 2 fibers to make a mesh, so that's 16 per mesh. So we're going to need 16 times 8. So that's two stacks of carbon. We're going to need... Okay, that's in there. So we need that. And then we need the ULV casing, which is eight. And so we need sixty four. He's already got that going. Alright. Uh, circuits. Do we have 16 circuits made? No, we have 12. Alright, so I'm going to have to make some circuits. I need some silicon and some plastic. So I don't think we have any of these ready, right? Uh, we got one empty circuit board. A plastic sheet in there. Six sheet there.
Oh, let's see, Zenboy, what the fuck? Oh, hey, there's 16 circuits right there. Soldering alloy, I need tin and antimony. Motherfucker, every time I go to do something, he's already got it done. I don't fucking like you. I'm gonna go drop some shit off out of my inventory. You just do whatever the fuck you're doing. I'll set it up when it's done. Fuckers run circles around my ass. Get that shit off. Is that part done? Got 
There is a shit ton of biomass in here. Why don't I just grab that out of there? Instead of letting this bitch run through it. And turning it into ethanol. That would make a lot more sense. Since I can with these machines. Just rip it right the fuck out. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. I was talking about biomass and... Um... Okay, now that one will let me do it. Okay. That's weird. Alright, one of you guys is getting some ethanol. Apparently it's going to be you. You'll take it. Okay. So now we can get rid of that. Don't need the distillery anymore. Just throw it over here in a box in case we need it later. And this is our LV battery box. Completely forgot I need to make a battery for this. Or he gets that solar panel ready. Apparently, I didn't plant enough potatoes. Minus the two corners. Yeah, and the casings for the solar panels. Okay. Carbon fiber, carbon mesh. Now, the problem is we need a compressor. And our compressor is working. So we're going to have to stop our compressor. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, we oh, can. hey, we do. I didn't know we had an MV1. Well, I guess I did. I just forgot what I do. I think you already got the cables. Mm -hmm. Are you doing this in a different table than I am? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got the other half of everything over here. Do 
we got an advanced circuit to throw in there? There was one on this table. Okay. And do we have an LV battery or do I need to make one? There was one in the plate. Ah, uh -huh. sodium battery. Got one. I don't know. We'll see if it is enough or not. Oh, and I gotta build my scaffold thing again. Uh, scaffold. You know, this thing ain't gonna get in that sun in between his building and his mountain. Alright, so the harvester has power. Battery box has power. I'll just have to see if the solar panel is going to work because it's uh, nighttime. So I'll have to check on it later. Give me that. Kill. Alright. So I'll wait on that stuff to get done. We may have to make a better compressor. We'll see. Depends on how fast this stuff runs. Alright, so there's the biomass. It's in doing its thing. We have ethanol. We have glycerol. We have methane. And we have distilled water. And the distilled water for right now, until we get the reactor done, is going in this trash can. We have no use for it. Okay, so now we just need to get all four of those piped where they need to go. But the main thing is we have the glycerol. So tomorrow we can work on setting up the chemical reactor for this. And we also need to get this part done. So we can get the nitric acid done. Um, wasn't I doing... Didn't I go get a bunch of soul sand for us to get salt oh, here from? Did I ever set it up? Yeah, over here. Where the fuck did I do it at? Oh, hey, it's up there. We got 867 saltpeter. Well, small ones. We gotta put together. And we got 183 tiny coal. And a fuck ton of sand. And we ran through all of, even though it says there's one in there, but it won't give us any. Yeah, that's, that's a display item. Uh-huh. 
All right. So on the list for tomorrow, chemical reactor, so we can make nitric acid. Um, we could make another packager. I'm just thinking we may not, how much are we going to have to make this thing? What the hell is that thing? What in the hell do you call it? Mm -hmm. I'm remembering the thing that goes in the packager. It was called a dust schematic. I can't find the well, fucking... I didn't handle this. Oh, we just... You put it in the fucking thing and it does it. Okay. Yeah, that, that's very clean this thing. That's just like you took recipes and... Yeah. Nice in the album. I agree. I was thinking this might be an interesting way of trying. I need to try these out. I have an actual use for them, but. No, this one would be four. So we put a package in right there. It would give us the four. Hey, it did. It gave me the four. But I'm thinking we could put a package down here. If we're going to do multiple of these. Uh, runs to get more salt here, but how much of it do I need to make this way? Nitrogen dioxide and water, nitrogen monoxide and oxygen, nitrogen monoxide, we can only make that way. So the only way we're making nitric acid is going to be with saltpeter. Because we can't do this. This is just for the aqua riga thing. So without any other way of getting it, which I don't know of another way of getting it, we're going to have to go through a lot of salt. So yeah, I think we're going to make a packager tomorrow, two chemical reactors, and then that should give us enough, because we need one chemical reactor to make the sulfuric acid into nitric acid. And then a second one to mix the glycerol into the nitroglycerin. And then we'll need a third one to make the nitro diesel. So we're going to need three chemical reactors tomorrow and another package. Speaking of, how are we doing? Yeah, we're not quite full yet on diesel. But we're getting there. Speaking of getting there, we've been here for 
three and a half hours. It's almost ten o'clock. Let's go see. It's coming daytime. Let's see if we got any uh, thing harvested yet. Yeah, we got 14 potatoes. So the harvester is working. And the small sodium battery is perfectly full. And the solar panel is also full. So yeah, that little setup will work. Well, there's your testing for your solar panel and your harvester. We know they work now. All right, this thing is empty. Uh, oh, why that display is still messing up? Thing should not say four, I put exactly two stacks in it. There we go. Now our potatoes are in there. So now tomorrow I'll connect that up. We'll get rid of this box because it's not going to be needed anymore. I will pipe that biomass over there. I'll get the piping everything up out of it. We'll see if we can get some nitric acid made tomorrow. Alright. Have a good night, guys.